hello and welcome to my channel if you haven't already caught up with me I am I'm having to overdub my audio having had a bit of a stuff up the other day when I was recording my videos this is another diamond art club and this is the first of four in this box that I got delivered this was part of a 20% off uh, discount that I used in order to um, maximize my savings 20% seems to be about the best I can get for now um, this one is Graham Gherkin this is pretty in pink and um, I'm falling more and more in love with Graham Gherkin's work this one has um, it's a 52 by 42 it's square it has 37 colors and it's got three ABs uh, now you'll have to excuse me as I try and fluff my way through what I'm seeing because I do talk specifically about the ABs as I go through it um, but initially um, I think I'm just going to take a look at the canvas I'm going to unroll it so I can't see it um, take out that useless piece of paper because I've done a few diamond paintings by now but beginners seriously you do need them um, there are some really handy tips in there so don't be ashamed to use them um, yeah so rolling it the wrong way trying to get it to relax and while I sit on it for a beat um, and just get it to uh, do its thing I'm remarking on the toolkit. Now this is one of the new square toolkits. It's got the new tweezers um, that appears to be new. This one does come with the two waxes, squishy pen, a multiplacer, which I think is about a nine, maybe. I'm really bad on the multiplacers. I must get a measure so I know exactly what it is. The clear boat, a few bags, and that's pretty much all you need to get going. Um, I've also stopped cannibalizing my Diamond Art Club kits and left them intact uh, for I don't know what I don't know what I'm going to do with all my spare parts but there's the small boat from Diamond Art Club in comparison to the boat that I normally use that's why I don't like the clear boat from Diamond Art Club um, it's the only reason why because I'm used to using the Monster White now um, Yes, and one day I'll show all the different boats that I have. All right, this is pretty in pink. Now, how gorgeous is that? Um, love the wet scenes that Graham seems to be quite fond of, and the well, it's not winter light because it's autumn, but the the um, the thin white light, and you've got the reflections. So. Um, I'll wait until the opportune point when I'm finding now if it's three ABs it's okay I'm pointing out where some of them are now I think that might be two there's a lime green AB and I will show it as I go through the drills later but there are about ten I think it's this one um, there are very very few scattered through the painting so there's um, there's a couple. Uh, I know I've got two Graham Gherkins and I did certainly struggle um, with one of my paintings trying to spot where the ABs were. The white AB 141 is in that water reflection in the centre there and up in the sky just above it because obviously it's a reflection. So it's that thin watery light that you get through um, and um, yeah it's just gorgeous but um, the third AB I'm not sure where that is um, from memory I can't remember what color it was all right so I'm opening the bags I do actually say that um, I should get a job with Diamond Art Club because I'm able to pack them back <laughs> but that would mean having to move to US which is fine by me. 141. Alright, there's one of the ABs. Lots and lots of ABs for 141. Um, I don't show each of the colours in great detail. Sorry, I'm really actually flying through that. I will remember to slow down for the camera the next time. Um, 
They're pretty. I think I might pause on the 550 because it's my favourite purple, but otherwise I'm fairly belting through the um, colours. I do apologise if you really, really want to see what the colours were. There is one of the other ABs. I think that's two. And like I said, you only need maybe 20 in this painting and you get a whole lot more. And then I'm looking for the third AB, um, which I think there it is, the darker green. So it's again in the leaves, reflected top and bottom. And um, well, that's all I'm interested in, I think. Um, when it comes to uh, doing, well, well, when it came to actually unboxing, I kept every painting I opened and there was four of them, I kept on saying, oh my God, I want to do this. There's 550, my, my favorite purple. Um, yeah, I every single one of these, it was like, oh, can I do this now? And no, I can't do this now because I'm in the middle of, well, I'm, I'm more than in the middle of I Miss You. Um, I'm up to the last third and I'm so looking forward to finishing it. I'm loving working with the rounds in Diamond Art Club. It's my very first Diamond Art Club, so absolutely loving the kit. There I go with my bragging that I can put this back in the bag. Uh, <laughs> um, I also have a custom whip in progress that's completely different. It's square and um, I need to do that, but I really want to finish. I miss you. And then I want to get on to some other uh, review paintings. So there you go. There is Pretty in Pink. It's a really simple uh, video. I don't really um, belabor the point any further than that. So um, if you would like to see more of Graham Gherkin, as I said, he is fast becoming one of my favourite artists. I have uh, more in my unboxings and more to come. And there is one more in this group um, which you will see if you want to um, take a look. It'll probably be releasing the day after this one. So um, this is Pretty in Pink and um, this is Diamond Art Club. Um, as I said, it's 52 by 42. It's a square and it's got 43 colours with three of the, sorry, 37 colours with three of those being ABs. All right. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon. And I will give you a wave in just a second. Bye for now.